Euro Truck Simulator 2. What we're going to be doing today is just basically a little playthrough. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what to do. So here we are, we're at the new profile screen. Uh, we're going to be choosing a male character. And here we get to just basically choose our little picture of what we might look like uh, to the rest of the world. Not very many good options, they all kind of look like freaky pedophiles to be honest. Let's go with something. I don't know. That guy looks like a truck driver. And this is just choosing my preferred truck. Uh, pretty much I prefer to drive a Scania, so that's probably what I'm going to be choosing here. A Scania or a Volvo, I'm sure. Here we'll go with that one. And company logo, I don't know. And just choose our company name, something, I don't know. What, what will we choose? Um, flaming Logistics. Something like that, I don't know. I don't have any modules. Now I am using two mods here. AI Traffic Pack, which basically just gives me a bit more, uh, a, bit, a bit of a wider variety of traffic. And then Realistic Lighting, which as it says, makes the lighting a little bit more realistic because the base game is uh, interesting. Now I'm just going to skip through this stuff because it's a bit boring, so I'll have to get back up when we get back in. Here we are back in, and we are looking at where to start. Uh, we have a bunch of different options. We can pretty much start anywhere. However, um, I have previously started in the UK. Uh, that's all well and good, but um, I think I'm going to start somewhere a bit uh, more central in this one. Just to see what happens. So, I'm going to go Germany. I'm going to go Berlin. Uh, it's probably better to start off in a more uh, a, a bigger capital kind of thing. Uh, just looking at what else is around. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it here, and I'll pick it back up when I've fixed up all of the issues. So here we are back in, uh, we're on our first job, so let's get started, hey? So as you can see here, we've got the uh, dashboard, we've got an inside view here, so when you stick your head out of the door, you can look around behind you. And so let's go through the views, we're in the cab right now. I don't really like driving like this, I mostly prefer to be in the cab. Above, top of the roof, out the window. Uh, this one is right at the front of the truck. We're going to get behind the wheel. We've just got a random view out in the middle of nowhere and back in the cab. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this thing started. Okay, so at the moment I'm using keyboard and mouse, and that is purely because I refuse to play this with a steering wheel until I have track IR. And for any of you guys who don't know what track IR is, um, basically it is a thing that sticks onto your headset and lets you look around, and when you look around on your, like, as your actual person, uh, it will turn your head in-game. Okay, so I've got to remember we're driving on the other side of the road here. I'm from Australia, so... We normally drive on the other side of the car and the other side of the road. So where are we off to today? Uh, we should just be going from one section of the town to the other. And 
yep, I can already see the finish point on the GPS down there. So down onto the right there, it'll show you the GPS. It also shows you the uh, truck speed limit, which I am well and truly over right now, but that's okay. Uh, pretty much doesn't matter so long as there's no speed cameras, which I will keep a very close eye out for. And what we're going to be doing here is a Let's Play series, which uh, basically we're going to play through until... Uh, yeah, until we kind of get sick of it. And so we're going to be playing through from start to finish. I'll show you guys every step of the way. So it could get a little bit boring. It could get a little bit fun. I don't know. We'll see. Um, throughout the Let's Play, I will be pretty much only using the uh, those two mods that I've uh, talked about already. But um, if there's any big major updates, then we may change it, change that around a little bit. Um, now. The actual finish is just here, and so that's what I'm going to go for. If you look down on my GPS, you can see a couple of uh, grey question marks. What those are are different places. They could be uh, truck dealerships. They could be uh, different places that I can buy. Uh, pretty much, they're just they're they're there, and we've got to go discover them at some point. Um, seeing as this is our first trip and this is not our truck, uh, I'm not going to go too much into discovery. Um, we will do that a little bit later, and so normally I play on the other side of the truck, so this is going to be a bit interesting. We'll see how reversing goes. You can skip the reversing, and I've already screwed it up. Backwards, backwards, backwards. Yeah, you can skip the reversing, but you miss out on a, uh, a bunch of XP, which uh, we're not going to miss out on. Swung it out a bit wide, I think. Uh, we'll see about this right now. Now we've almost jackknifed the truck here, so I've got to fix it up. As you can tell, I'm not the best at reversing. And I buggered it up again. Okay, so we're going to go out pretty much straight here, and then we're going to take another shot at it. Uh, as I said, normally I drive on the other side of the truck, so this kind of reverse is a bit interesting for me. It's very backwards from what I'm normally used to. Okay, so we're actually way off. Um, this is going to be an interesting let's play. I can already tell. Okay, so we're looking a little bit better now. So let's swing it around a little bit more and then straighten her up. Okay, so once it goes green, you're in the right spot and we can release the trailer. And there we go, excellent. And so because I parked it, we get that little bit extra bonus XP, 45 XP bonus. We're still a little newbie at this stage. And here we go, this is our headquarters. This is our little base of operations. It has graffiti, it looks gross, and it's pretty crap. I hold one truck space at this moment. And yes, we don't have any trucks at the moment. So what we get here, we're looking at the main... This is the main uh, kind of area. So we have the ability to check the job market check the world map, we can choose an online radio station to listen to. Uh, throughout the game, when you go through certain things, you'll get a little email that'll pop through. Uh, that could be anywhere from a truck dealer telling you to come and look out their, look at their trucks because they've got a deal going on, to the bank going, hey, we can now give you a new loan, um, to a recruitment agency telling you that they've got new people. Um, so save and load options about, that's pretty basic stuff. Progress history, here you can see what kind of jobs you've done, how you've done, uh, are you doing any better or worse. Skills, once we level up we will unlock new skills and what these do is give us little bonuses uh, throughout the game for what we're actually doing. Uh, profiles, this is where we go back and look at the different profiles. I've actually got another profile which is a lot further on. And then photo studio, so throughout the game uh, you can take little photos and have a look at them. Down here you can look at the truck. Uh, currently I don't own my own truck, and yeah, you can look at the truck dealers, you can upgrade your truck, you can adjust the cabin, and you can go through the diagnostics of your truck. 
and then we've got our company status. Flaming Logistics, we have 2,588 euros. We are pretty poor right now. And we can go through our company manager. Uh, when we unlock it, we can go to the bank and get loans. And then we can go to the recruitment agency to get uh, new drivers, basically, to drive for us. Now, as I said, we do not own our own truck, so we cannot go to the actual freight market. The freight market is a place where you go, you bring your own truck, you pick up a load, and you deliver it. Uh, it offers a little bit more money. Uh, it can be a lot more money, depending on the job. Uh, but what we do right now is a quick job. We are basically just a driver. We rock up to a place, we get given a truck, we get given a load, and we take it somewhere. And so that's what we're going to be doing. And of course, I've got it sorted for price per distance. So this means that based on the amount of distance that I'm driving, I'm getting paid a fairly high amount. So our first trip is going to be from Brussels to Calais in France. And uh, it's going to pay us 3,481 euros. Uh, should take, uh, let's say, how far is it? Probably only take a couple of minutes, like 20 minutes or so, uh, in real life. However, it's probably going to be like a four hour drive or so in game. As you can tell, the game speed uh, speeds up massively. Okay, so where is the exit in here? Okay, it's over there. Very tight left turn to start. The game has weather, it has uh, a whole bunch of traffic simulations, crashes. Uh, sometimes you see the AI cars doing some really stupid dumb things, such as overtaking on the top of a hill. Uh, never a smart move. Uh, so, the GPS is telling me to turn left here, I uh, turn right here, so I'm actually gonna disobey and I'm gonna be turning left. I'm pulling out in the middle of traffic, I know, stupid move, but hey, they'll wait for me. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to go through and uh, check out this this question mark here and figure out what it is. Now I'm not a big fan of Avecos, but hey, we'll take it and we'll do what we can to get the biggest amount of money that we can. Uh, Avecos, that blinker is really annoying me, so I'm probably not going to be blinking through too much throughout this game. Uh, blinking is kind of an option that you can do. It's not really required as much. Um, if you can see down the right hand side, we've got a little, uh, a little reverse mirror, uh, a little uh, other mirror that sits there, kind of helping us out. Uh, that's because, again, I'm not using Track IR, and I don't feel as easy to look over every once in a while. Okay, so you do get. Uh, red light fines, you get speeding fines, you get all sorts of fines. Uh, if you crash into people, you get damage and um, you get fines for damaging other people. Uh, so you got to be a little bit more careful with your driving here. Uh, a lot of people get into this game and I've actually got a friend who just started. He's getting into this game and straight away he's floored it and tipped his truck over and crashed into a bunch of people. So there you go, that's our first new mail that we've just got in there. Uh, anyway, when you crash, it's a good way not to make money. So that's our base, that's our base of operations, we've just driven past it. And watch the road, because you're not watching properly. Okay, so in this game, lots of people swing it out massively when they're going around corners. It's kind of needed, but not overly. just in the normal kind of stuff, so we don't really have to swing it out too far, but you still have to swing it out a little bit, so you can see here, I'm going pretty close to those cars. Oh man, this blinker's really starting to bug me. It's so slow. The brakes are pretty good on these trucks, so yeah, you don't overly have to worry about it too much. Um, you will see me later on using the retarder. And what the retarder does is uh, basically it slows you down without using the brakes as much. Now I am no trucking expert, I don't know much about trucks, I just like playing this game. It's a nice uh, relaxing game that I use and uh, yeah, I, I just use it to chill out a little bit. But it's strangely addictive. Um, lots of people that I know that have gotten into this game kind of thought it was a good joke and then become full on addicted to it and 
and start playing constantly. So this is one of my chill out games, um, my normal games which you guys have already seen on my YouTube channel, Armor, and some other ones which you haven't seen, uh, like War Thunder and other cool games. So I, I really like the simulation games, uh, I find it quite interesting and quite enjoyable. And so that's what we're doing here today. Oh, hurry up, come on. As you can see, I can press my horn and I can beat people. I like using it. Although the AI literally do not react to it. They don't pay any attention to blinkers, they don't pay any attention to horns. They are great drivers, just like a lot of people in the middle of Sydney. So, people who don't know who I am, I'm from Sydney, Australia. Uh, my name is Daniel, and I run the, uh, the gaming group Alien Infiltration, which is an outreach group to try and help people struggling with, uh, with issues and uh, to talk about religion and that sort of stuff. Basically working with online gamers. So that's, that's why we do a lot of gaming videos, that's why we play a lot of games get into their world and to talk to them about everything and anything. Yeah. 
a speed camera area on that. I just got a speeding offense.
show you guys how I drive a little bit more decently because uh, left hand drive really isn't my forte. But unfortunately, the only country in this game that uses uh, right hand drive is the UK, and it's a very small country compared to the rest of the the rest of Europe. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any others. Uh, from what I've seen, most seem to be uh, the left hand drive, drive on the right side of the road. Silly, they don't uh, look at the indications at all, and they don't pay any attention to you pretty much doing anything. Uh, about the only thing that I've seen the AI really care about in this game is if you've got your high beams on, they will flash you to tell you. Uh, it's a little bit helpful, but at the same time, not so much. mark up ahead and then we'll turn straight into the, uh, the depot here. Now as you guys may notice uh, down on the GPS we've got a couple of symbols up the top. We've got the truck symbol which signifies how much damage is done to my truck. That'll fill up red as we go uh, if I've done a lot of damage to it. Uh, if you get to the point where you're about a 10-15% uh, you will start to see engine malfunctions. Uh, what that means is your truck will just stop out of nowhere. Just passing a man dealer, so it's a truck dealership. So that that basically helps later if we want to buy any new trucks, we have to have visited those dealerships or at least passed by them so that we know where they are. It's a very tight turn here. Okay, so yeah, uh, the next one along, obviously the fuel. And the next one along is actually the sleep symbol, so it tells you how close you are to passing out from being too tired. Uh, you can actually get fined for being too tired as well in the game. Um, so it is a good idea to rest every once in a while. Now here we go for my next failed parking attempt. What did I just... What did I do? I didn't hit anything. What the hell? Swing it around a little bit and kind of bring it in a bit, smooth, hopefully. And we're going to do it with a white and an angle. Okay, so I'm going to have to straighten it up again. Just because I came in at a bit of a bad angle. Okay, so we're swinging it back around. Let's see if we can get this go in this one without having to go back out again. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Okay, I've gotten this. I'm just going to wait for it to turn green. And it's green, you go. 
guys can't really see it, but it's green down there on the floor. Good work. Now, I would have gotten excellent had I not gotten that damage penalty. So we've lost 243 euros. However, we have gained 3,481. So that puts our total loss at about 750 euros or so. And we've lost, missed out on 26 experience there. So we have leveled up. So what we can do here is choose what we want to level. So we've got a couple of different choices. Now, eco driving, that's pretty much a non-issue until we get our own truck. Uh, what that does is it saves you with the fuel. Um, which, yeah, as I said, um, not an issue until we get our own truck, purely because when you pick up a quick job, uh, those trucks come with enough fuel to get wherever you're going, usually. Um, there isn't very many times where that doesn't happen. Now what we can unlock here is a just-in-time delivery, which means that we will get access to deliveries that are high important, highly important, sorry, and what that'll give us is a 3% higher reward from finishing an important delivery and a 20% experience bonus for finishing an important delivery. Now those are good, but not so great while you're not driving your own truck. If you're not willing to uh, to take the damage penalty from your uh, like from someone else's truck, then there's no point in going for those. Fragile cargo. Uh, this is uh, electrics, glass, delicate machinery, as it says up there. And basically, same deal, you get a 5% higher reward for delivering fragile cargo, and 22% experience bonus. This is good if you're willing to take it kind of slow and easy. As you guys kind of noticed, I'm not like that. <laughs> I kind of like to speed a little bit. Uh, so, high value cargo. Um, now, this is a bit deceiving because while it says high value cargo, what it really means is wide loads and really big cargo. Um, so again, you get a 5% higher reward for value uh, for the delivery, for the high value delivery, and you get an 18% experience bonus for a high value delivery. Uh, again, that's kind of alright, but not great. Long distance, uh, this is probably the one that we're going to be going with first. Uh, this will give us uh, longer runs. Uh, basically, we will drive uh, so, basically, you've got the, the short distances currently that we're getting. Uh, we will not be able to drive any further than 250 kilometers, which is about how far we drove just then. Uh, with each new rank, we become qualified for deliveries up to 350, and then as you go up and up and up, you get all the way across Europe in one delivery. Uh, you get a 5% higher reward for distances longer than 250, and you get a 25% ex experience bonus for deliveries longer than 250. Now that is a bigger jump compared to the rest. Like you've got 5 and 22, 3 and 20, uh, you've got 5 and 18. This gives you 5 and 25. And realistically, I want to go to probably rank 2. Rank 2 long distance, and then we'll start working on our ADR. So what is ADR? ADR is your dangerous goods. Uh, licensing. So basically what you can do is you can get licensed to carry things such as fireworks, gases, flammable liquids, flammable solids, toxic and, and infectious substances and corrosive substances. So with these ones you're going to be carrying stuff like gas, you're going to be carrying uh, hydrogen, dynamite, fireworks, um, different chemicals, poisons, um, biohazard sort of stuff and then sulfuric acid, acid sort of stuff. Basically the dangerous goods sort of stuff that you would see out on the roads with those stickers. Um, they're the ones that if they get in a crash they pretty much have to call the, uh, the emergency services if anything is possibly at all leaking. Um, so again they're a bit more of a, uh, take, it a take it with a bit more care. So what we're going to do, we're going to put one point into long distance driving. We're going to hit apply and so that now has unlocked our skills profile so we can see our skills and we've got the one point in long distance. So let's check out our progress history. So we have driven from Brussels to Brussels. We have driven from Brussels to Calais carrying a digger and so we have explored 0.6% of the roads. We haven't driven on our own yet at all and we won't until we get our own truck. But while we've been on duty, we've driven 241 kilometers so far, and in-game we've spent four hours. 
However, we've only actually spent 23 minutes playing. So, let's check out this email. What was it? So, the showroom in Lil Lily is offering us brand new Scania trucks. That's all well and good. I can tell you right now, a Scania truck costs about 90 to 95,000. We have 5,000, and we don't have access to the bank to get any loans. So what we're going to do, we're going to end it here, and I'll pick up next time on another drive. See you later, guys.